Okay, next, we're going to need you to write off the mailing charge for us. Wait, our out-of-pocket costs for mailing, like what the post office charges us for mailing, you won't pay for that? Correct. We figured that's just something you should provide to us. Okay, next, on invoice number 10892548, we don't expect to get billed for an, any supervision by a senior attorney, so we want the shareholder time written off. But do you still want a shareholder to review it? Yeah, but we just don't think we should have to pay for it. Okay, uh, let me get the next invoice we need fixed. An inventor's coming in today to sign his signature documents. Uh, can you get a declaration and assignment printed out by this afternoon? Yeah, sure. Um, do you have the file or do you want to just email me the docket number? It's for that uh, new spill-free ketchup bottle invention. Mm. It doesn't ring a bell. Does it work? Like a charm. He gave me the prototype. You can shake it, toss it, and even sit on it and it won't spill. I'll get the file and be right back. Brian. He expects us to just eat the cost of mailing. We're not making money on that. Those are post office charges. You know, and then he went in and he cut 10% across the board off their total <sighs> bill. So we both got time cut. You know, I never liked him. Which one was he? Was he the ugly one with the bald spot? Or the gluten-free guy that makes the whole table be gluten-free. Oh, you know, who cares? That's it, though. I'm done with him. I wish I could do the same. I am so sick of this crap. But, you know, I think I'm stuck until I find something better. You mean something better here at the firm, right? You and Judith are not trying to leave, are you? What? No. Reed, you'd know way before I did something that drastic. I'm not leaving the firm. Hmm. Hi, uh, I'm just noticing a credit card charge to your club. Um, Wednesday, a few weeks ago? Open mic night. Okay, so does that mean you'll be having it tonight? Okay, thanks. Hey, uh, here's a file for that one. Brian, this invention doesn't work. Why would you say that? Well, you've got ketchup on your shirt. Nice try. Oh my gosh, Brian, it's right here. Like, it's everywhere. You know, you better get that cleaned up if you've got a meeting with him. You want to look professional, so. Oh, hey. Hi. Sorry to bother you. I'm just wondering if you think you'll be home for dinner. You know, it's really busy, so I don't think I'm going to get out of here until late. Probably after 10. You sure? Yeah, I just don't see how I can get out of here before then. Okay, I'll make a plate for you. Okay, thanks. Love you. Love you too. Bye.
then. We're leaving at six then. Yeah. You know, at these secret meetings, people are going to think we're having an affair. That's crazy. That would never happen. I know. You want me to shut this door before you take your pants off? Yes, please. Yeah, okay. Is it okay if we sign Wes up to play the trumpet in band? No, tr trumpets are too expensive. He has a friend that says that we can borrow theirs. Trumpets are too loud. I, it's gonna give me a headache. I can't have a blasted trumpet around here. No. What about a flute? Flutes are quiet, and he'll promise to always practice in his room with the door shut. Oh, Judas Priest, okay, but I better not hear him. It, it, it just, if he gets annoying playing that thing, he's just gonna have to quit. Okay, sign up for the flute on your paper. But mom, flutes are for girls. There's a single point in the flute section. It's that or nothing. Hello? Reed? Hello? Yeah, I can't hear anything. Hello? That was Reed. I thought about an answer, but I couldn't hear anything. All right, I need to hit the bathroom before we start. So I'll be back in a minute. Hello? Hello? Judith. Yeah, hello? This is Reed. Tell Wes that I called.
Tell me you're naked under that trench coat. Your mother's naked under this trench coat. in the holy crap is going on in here. It is so freaking loud. I didn't think it was that loud. Well, it is. And I'm behind on some stuff and I've got to concentrate and I just can't concentrate with this rock concert going on. Sorry. Can you just, like, what is wrong with you today? I mean, first you get ketchup on your back, which to most people is impossible. Then I catch you in here topless with the door wide open, and now you're just rocking out at it full blast? Be normal, at least until I leave. What's wrong? What do you mean? You've got that look. What's wrong? No, nothing. Just just focus on your set. I'll tell you later. Okay, are you sure? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, how are you guys doing tonight? Are you ready for some comedy? Not bad. I know you can do better than that, though. I said, are you ready for some comedy? All right, all right. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't, don't, don't overdo it. Remember, it is open mic night, okay? <laughs> all right, now we've got about 30 of them coming up here, and we've got everything from professionals to first-timers and all the folks in between, okay? Now, they each got three minutes and uh, hopefully they'll make you laugh, all right? So let's get this thing started off with a couple of jokes, okay? Who's ready for some jokes? All right. Let's get our next comedian up here. Everyone give it up for Logan Walker. Ah, there he is. So does anybody know the difference between the C and the CE buttons on the calculator? Yeah, clear and clear everything. Yeah, that's right. That uh, just ruined my first joke. Okay. Um, a lot of people tell me that I'm uptight, and you're wondering, like, how uptight? I'm so uptight that I might wear a tie to open mic night. <laughs> um, you know, the... The plight of the homeless people in Salt Lake is really bad. Like most of them have last year's iPhone. <laughs> that, that's not true. They're all Android users. <sighs> Look, I'm dressed like this because my dad told me I was going to be a lawyer when I grow up. <laughs> He sat me down, and he, he was a school teacher, and he sat me down, and he said, son, I haven't made a lot of money in my life, but I've been able to help a lot of people, and helping people doesn't pay well. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that's terrible is I became a patent lawyer, which means I don't know how to do anything. <laughs> uh, does anybody know where the federal courthouse is in Salt Lake? I'm serious, I have a meeting there tomorrow and I don't know where it is. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, man. 
like, hey, man, just ask me. I was there yesterday. <laughs> Logan Walker, everybody. Logan Walker. Why didn't you just use your real name? I don't want people knowing who I am or that I'm doing this. It doesn't matter. So really, how was I? Well, Logan, you were amazing. I mean, the crowd kind of sucked at first, but you were awesome. Really? Yep. You can do this, Wes. Ryan, just focus on work. If you want to be a shareholder here, so many people can trust, just work. Okay. Don't get caught up in having fun like some stupid teenager. Don't lie to your partners. Don't sacrifice your clients so you can go out and have fun. And never lie to me. Is that work or personal stuff you're doing? It's personal, but I'm off the clock. And Wes said it was okay as long as I wasn't using firm resources. Well, Wes okay, of course he did. He just needs to grow the hell up. You know, you just can't trust everyone, Nikki. Are you okay, Reed? I mean, you're acting a little insane. The only insane person here is you and every other person with a hobby. Grow up, do your job, and get on with life. All right, everybody, thanks for coming out. That's it for tonight. You know, that felt really good. I need to keep doing this. Mm -hmm. I've got bad news. What was my fight out or something? I think Reed knew we were together tonight. What? How? Well, remember when he called you? He called me, and I answered, and he said, tell Wes I called. Crap. It kind of sounded like Psycho Reed. <sighs> Judas Priest. I mean, he was going to find out sooner or later. I was hoping later, like much, much later. Crap. I've got to go talk to him. By the way, thanks so much for coming. I really appreciate your support. Mm -hmm. If I wind up dead, it was Reed. <laughs> Hey, Reed, can I talk to you for a minute? I'd rather you're not. Please, can you just let me explain? You guys were keeping a secret from me. What form were you having dinner with? Or was it a new client that you're trying to keep for yourself? You know, it doesn't matter what it was. You lied to me. It was nothing, Reed. Look, okay, I was out doing stand-up comedy, okay? I was at open mic night. And Judith was there, and she was watching. OK, that's all it was. I'm not leaving the firm. We weren't meeting with any new potential clients. Look, Reed, you can't be mad because of this. It's just this stupid thing I'm trying. It's That's asinine. Have you lost your mind? Stand-up comedy? You think a shareholder at this firm can do stand-up comedy on the side and not have to deal with the consequences? What are you talking about? I didn't talk about any firm clients. I didn't talk about the firm. This is Logan Walker all over again. 
clients will find out, attorneys will find everyone will find out, and then you'll realize that everyone is laughing at you. I don't know why they would care that much. This is just something I'm doing that's fun. It's all on my own personal time. Why would they give a crap? Because they want a lawyer who does his job. It's obvious that you are going through some sort of midlife crisis because the only thing you haven't done is gotten a tattoo on your ass. I mean, you don't know that for sure. I mean, it could have. Look, Reed, I need this. I'm getting zero joy out of my job. I hate it. It's sucking the life out of me. I don't know why we're making such a big deal about this. I really could just use a friend right now. Well, you pick Judith. Go talk with her. And you can keep the damn mugs. Don't ask me to help you with any of your clients' work either. And if you don't mind, I want some peace and quiet. Can't make it alone 